The roots of the Cortica Jug can be traced all the way back to 1959, as Cortland would have the first laugh in the rivalry, beating Ithaca 13-7. Despite the early struggles for IC, the Bombers would have a stretch of dominance from 1973 to 1987, losing just once within that span. Playing in four of those Cortica games was Bombers defensive lineman Larry Zarnecki. Fond, fond memories as a player, fond memories as a coach with Jim Butterfield uh, while I coached it at uh, Ithaca. Zarnecki played and was part of the coaching staff of the Blue and White, but also had two stints on Cortland's staff. No one understands the rivalry of Cortica like Zarnecki who has been involved in the last 42 Jug games as either a player or a coach. They're all unique, they're all special, and really anything can happen. Well, that's part of the uh, mystique, I think, about the Cortica Jug game. It's really special. Although Cortland has had Ithaca's number for the last half decade, Zornecki says both teams will be ready to play come kickoff. Knowing I see the way I know I see, if they're not up a notch, I would be very surprised, and knowing Cortland like I know Cortland, uh, they got to want it even more, so this should be really, really interesting. Last year's game was very interesting, as the Red Dragons beat the Bombers on the final play of the game. Five seconds left, it's a low snap, and it hits the ground. Hinton picks it up, now rolling left, still rolling left, he throws it for Mannix. Mannix is open in the end zone! Touchdown Cortland as the clock expires! To the players, it is special and uh, it should continue to be special in regard to, uh, to a rivalry, a challenge, and, uh, and both schools should be very proud to be involved in it. The Cortica Jugs have stayed right here in Cortland's Hall of Fame room for the last five years, but IC hopes they can return the Jugs back to South Hill for the first time since 2009. Reporting in Cortland, Jake Siegel, ICTV.